Welcome back and this is part two of my ride through Kepwick to Revor. Well, coffee and fruit loaf finished. Camera lens is clean. It was time to get back on the road. And I'll soon find out whether or not cleaning the camera lenses had, has made any difference whatsoever. Well, this is us leaving Revo. There's the Abbey to the right. This is only going to be a short video. Essentially, I'm going to pop the top of this bank and take the main road back towards Stokesley. Uh, but I'll be turning off at Chop Yat and heading towards the Lord Stones. I'll probably not be speaking much on this one. I'll drop some music on it, I think. But as you can see, cleaning the lens has made no difference. After researching, researching the problem later when I got home and after taking them off and cleaning them, I discovered what the main issue is. The marks on the lens, the water spots on the lens covers, they're actually inside. I didn't know this at the time, I found out later when I got home. Uh, it's condensation. Um, the rain had penetrated through the adhesive ring that holds the lens covers on. And there was condensation and water droplets on the inside of the lens covers. That's not grand. Needless to say, I've now removed both covers and I've ordered an, an alternative. It's not until you ride this road that you can understand why the guys on the sports bikes love it so much. Gentle sweeping curves. And on the whole the road surface is in pretty good condition. You can see some penalty points being gained on this road during the summer months.
up on the hill to the left you can see the Billsdale um, television mast. I've got to say, it's roads like this and the, well, rides like the one I've been on today and that remind me just how much I enjoy motorcycles. I'd forgotten how much I enjoy being out on a motorbike. How did I leave it so long? Chop yacht to the left, the community centre. There's public toilets there as well. Or they used to be. Uh, I'm assuming they haven't closed them. But you can't tell these days. And it's 30 miles an hour along here. And they do like uh, checking, especially in the summer. Pub on the left, the book in. As I recall, they do some decent meals in there. There's a large car park around the back. But we're going to turn off here. And we're going to take the road to Lordstones. Carlton. We're going to go to Carlton Bank. Past the Lordstones Cafe. I believe these days it's the Lordstones Country Park or something. Years ago it was just a little cafe for walkers. But times change. There's a restaurant there now, I believe. Here's a young lady getting some exercise. Didn't pass many people on this road. That young girl on the bike and this chap walking his dog, I think that was it. On the right, the, you'll find um, the Lord's Seat with a spectacular view over the Tees Valley. to the car park for the cafe, Lordstones. We're dropping down now, back into Tees. I was going to say Teesside again, but it's now Tees Valley. And there's the view, the Tees Valley opens up. Rosebury Top Pin in the distance. Yep, and the place I call home. But this video is going to end shortly as the camera battery expires just before we get into Carlton. So I'll take this opportunity to say thanks very much for watching. And this old guy up on some other rides. And hopefully the uh, video quality will be a bit, a bit better when I change the lens covers.
but I've enjoyed myself today. It's been a, a good few hours. But it's now time to say ta-ra. So, everyone ride safe, be safe, and enjoy life. Thanks for watching Old Man in a Shed.